when we're here in this position, this is the biggest barrier I've got to start to get around. So, so this way a little. So I'm basing out, if I'm really high like this, just sweep me backwards, that can happen there. He can attack my leg, he can start to get up on top. So I'm gonna be very wary about that. So we're here like so. So just up nice and high. Cool. I'm basing out here like this, I'm controlling this leg, and I'm gonna get around this heel. I'm going to close that gap and I'm starting to put my shin and all the weight on top of his chest or his stomach. Then I'm going to reach in, I'm going to have my elbow nice and tight. So it should be quite difficult for your partner and the kid in this position, trying to get the heel back on the hip. Okay, so I'm here like this. This hand is pushing in as much as it possibly can. So I want him to kind of kick me away there like that. So as most of us know, just go back up again. If I just get rid of this, he'll probably go into say X guard. So just go straight into X guard. Now he's got a lot more control on his opposite leg. Um, maybe he goes into say reverse X guard, so just switch your feet. Either way, he's controlling this opposite leg a lot more than he was before. So let's go back again. So I can't, when I'm doing this, just go like this, because he's just gonna go straight into that. Let alone as uh, we're here, so now just kick me forward. So as I go like that, displace my face and then he goes back into single legs or he goes into X guard. I've got to be very wary of that. So as I get around this first barrier, I'm bringing myself in and I'm resting on him as much as I can. And it should be quite difficult if he brings this leg around because I'm kind of clasping here with this leg nice and close to the back of his hamstrings. So I'm in here, I've got a good grip. My elbows are nice and tight. This hand is pushing like crazy, so just kick me around a little. I'm probably gonna be here like this, basing a bit, okay? Expecting that he might start to transition to something else, let alone kick me forward. So that's why I'm really squishing him as much as I can. It's good to go with the momentum, but if not, you can just go on your own terms. So I go from pushing to pulling, jamming that leg down. This leg is gonna go up nice and high, and then see how he tried to bring his knee up? That's great for me. I can switch my base a little and then start to work into a knee right position or the knee on belly. So I'll just cut that angle a little. So we'll do that one again. So we're here trying to base out a little, grab onto whatever you can. So I'm getting around this one, squishing in as much as I can, and then I work my way in and I'm holding onto the back of the gear. Okay, push as much as you can. This leg is nice and close. Now I go over the top of the knee, and I sit him up. This leg goes up, and then I drop straight down over the top of his leg, and life's pretty good. Maybe I have to dig in an underhook, but either way, you're finishing a knee right. We can also, with that one there, as opposed to going to knee right, I can start to get around this barrier, okay? Hold that until you're close enough to grab onto the back of the, your partner's lapel. I can sit him up, bring my knees together and drop down into mount. But as you saw, more than likely your partner's gonna to start to put their back on the ground and try and split the knees in between the legs. So we can't always rely on doing that. Um, they're probably gonna drop their back on the ground. So as opposed to going like this and dropping down and I deal with that, because I wasn't quick enough, I'm going to go here. Now as he tries to bring his knees up, I'm gonna twist and finish in a side mount. Then I can start to work into whatever I choose. So we'll just cut that angle. So it is way safer going to side mount as opposed to dropping into normal mount. Because more than likely they're gonna put the back on the ground. If the knees uh, come up, it's not the worst thing in the world. So I'll do it from this angle. So I get to here, I get nice and low. Okay, sit your partner up, gem the knee across. You can bring his knees up now, it doesn't really matter too much. Okay, I'm in a good position, maybe I'm working into going into a seatbelt or going into chokes, but jam your knee into your partner's back. So let's just swivel around and do that one from another angle. But sometimes you're quick enough to drop straight down into mount, it just depends on what your partner's doing. You pull them off their back, more than likely they'll probably and dig it back into that position. So, I'm here like this, bringing this leg nice and tight. I go in, I'm pushing, sit them up, twist, jam that knee right into the back, and then life's pretty good here. As long as there's not space, obviously, for them to, say, scoop both hands under. It's not gonna be good here, because it's gonna be a bit of a scramble, and I miss that pass. So you're nice and tight. Always, whenever you're inside mount, obviously, bring the leg in uh, close towards your partner's stomach. Let's drop down. Circle this way. So I'll do that one again. We get to here, pushing in, 
pin him up, twist to the side, nice and tight, and then maybe I'm starting to work into, say, an e choke, which I'll slip around that way. It really depends. Maybe I can start to dig in the underhook, okay, and then drop my knee to the mat, slip backwards if that arm is underneath as well. So, let's do another one when we're in this position and we feel that we can't start to lift our partner up. So, whoop, so we'll go over the top. So we're here like so. Okay, now in this position, I'm going to start to get around this, okay? And now, I know he's probably gonna switch off to say X guard or so forth. So this one here, I'm controlling both ankles, and I'm going like that, and I'm just feeling where he's going with his leg. From there, I'm gonna quickly let go, hit that leg, and then bounce over the top. So it's a good one when you're quite quick to hit the knee and you don't have to pick your partner up off their back. So we'll do that one again. So we're here, like so. I'm controlling the ankles. Okay, I'm dropping my weight down. So even if you kick with your little right leg in this case, I'm still here like so. So it doesn't have any handles just yet. So I go from letting go here to the knee, big back step, drop down, Maybe after digging the underhook, go down to your side control. But either way, you're in a pretty good position. So, still so around. So let's just do one more. So when we're in this position here, so go up. Okay, so now what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go like this, same as before. I'm pushing in, and now from here, I'm going to start to switch my hips. Get that leg up and we're going to get to this position here. So I'm going to base out nice and wide with this leg and I'm going to drive my knee through into this position here. Really important for obvious reasons that I don't throw my whole leg in and then you can start to maybe down the track go into say knee bars and say different types of leg locks and so forth. So before I switch, so go back up again. Okay, I'm getting around this one here. I'm dropping down as much as I can. I've got to make sure I start to walk this leg away. So I go from here to switching and spreading that leg out nice and wide. Okay, and I'm in a pretty good position here. I'll go over a couple of different options of passes. They're pretty simple here, so I could start to hold onto the gi, push the leg down, go over the top, start to lift the arm up, go into, say, a bow and arrow style of pass, which is going to be very similar if I start to look for, say, my underhook. So we'll do that one again. So I'm here, getting around that, nice and tight. Okay, maybe I need to pull his arm out, so I've got a bit more of a base with this leg. And then from here, I switch and drop that knee inside, and I blow there like that. I could start to strike in and get my underhook, whether I want to push on this leg and go into, say, a cross face, or lift the arm up. It's completely up to you. I could have also had my head low in that position. If you feel like when you are in that position, you're running into a lot of different barriers, which you will find that here and there. So let's go again. So this way a little. Okay, so same exact thing. Pinning as much as you can. Start to flare that arm out if you need to walk your leg out. So now we're going to twist, turn that knee inside, same exact thing, kick that leg out. So if you feel like if you're gonna pass this way and run into their forearm, their shin. I could also work on just pinning the leg, switching into say leg drag, or all the way around, and then looking for your side control on the opposite side. So let's just do that one again. So always controlling both legs. Drive yourself in. Start to bring that leg away from your partner's stomach. Okay, now I'm twisting, flaring that leg out, and I'm nice and low. Okay, I could work on pushing the leg down, circling all the way over, and going to side control in this position here. Okay. Otherwise, another option of a pass if you did like to go the other way, you're a little bit greedy. So we're here like so. Okay, I'm dropping down, working that leg away from your stomach. I switch my hips, and I'm down nice and low. So let's swivel this way a bit. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to start to move his arm away from his elbow. Okay, so I can use that type of grip. I can work on lifting the arm up like that. And I'm also going to drop down and start to sprawl a little. Once my knee's above his, I can drop that on the ground. 
And I'm going to work on a good cross face. So I can work into skipping his quarter guard and going straight to mount. So I'll do that from another angle here. So here, dropping down, working to here, working to here. So we're going to switch our hips, get low, keep that leg out. You've got a pretty good base. Now I'll just work on bringing this one up, sprawling, bringing the knee over, and going into a cross face, and that's pretty good. So a lot of different options of how to pass your partner's single X guard.